Before doing previous year questions, I'll be continuing the proof of the identity which I talked about in my earlier video. I'll also be using some tricks which I talked over there. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll suggest you to watch that video first and come to this after that. Uh, so here we go. The proof of negation of P if and only if Q which is equals to P if and only if negation of Q. P if and only if Q can be written as P implies Q and simultaneously Q implies P. This is just the definition of P if and only if Q. We also know that P implies Q can be written as negation of P or Q. Similarly, this will be written as negation of Q or P. Now applying the negation over this statement, we get negation of negation of P or Q or the symbol changes from and to or as the negation goes in, you know, and here from or to owned and as the negation goes in. Now here we will apply, we will take this as A and this whole as B and C and we will apply this identity here which is P and negation of Q or Q and P and negation of Q or negation of P. That is this symbol or gets distributed among B and C. Similarly, we will apply the same thing again here and we will get P or Q and Q or negation of Q and P or negation of P and negation of P or negation of negation of Q or negation of P. We also know that whatever Q is true or false, this statement Q or negation of Q always comes out to be true and hence is a condition of tautology. And I have taught, talked about a trick that is if we have two statements and one of them have a true or a false always we will we can apply that trick that is the smaller set for the smaller set will come out to be the uh, final resultant after if we have and here and the larger one if we have or here but if we have we have and here so the smaller set which is p or q will come here and similarly negation of q or negation of p will come here now as we know that P or Q, the way we have converted from this to this, we can convert it from this to this. That is negation of P implies Q and Q implies P. Taking the contrapositive, we know that taking contrapositive does not change the statement. It's just the another way of writing the same statement. So we say negation of Q implies P and P implies negation of Q. This is very clear and we can just uh, shuffle these two and we'll, we can say P implies negation of Q and negation of Q implies P. So, and the way we uh, <coughs> deduce this, this from this as this is just the definition, we can do the reverse over here and we get P implies P if and only if negation of Q and hence it is proved. Now coming to the previous year questions. So the first question is this and I have already did it too. So the question is the Boolean expression P and negation of Q or Q or negation of P and Q is equivalent to. So here we go. P or negation of Q or Q or negation of P and Q. We can simply distribute this symbol among these two as P or Q and Q or negation of Q. We also know that this Q or negation of Q is always true and we write this the same, the same that is or negation of P and Q. P or Q and this is always true fine and we uh, make brackets here fine that is negation of P and Q or T and we also know that we ha if we have V symbol or we, we can say the OR connector, we always choose the set which is larger. This is the trick, please remember it. That if we have this, that is the sign of victory, we can say, we choose the set which is larger. If we have this, a kind of symbol which does not have this, this from making it different from A, so we use smaller set and the sets are in this order. 
this is always true this is any some true some false and this is always false this is a fallacy always false we can say so here we have this symbol which makes to uh, choose the smaller set which is the p or q and the answer is p or q which is this this is simple right now coming to the second question we have to calculate the negation of the statement of negation of s or negation of r and s so here we go when we apply negation we know that or converts from converts to and fine and since we already have a negation here the neg double negation makes it positive so here we get s and negation the same here when this negation goes in this and converts from converts to or and this since we have two twice of negation it gets cancelled and we get r or negation of s so s and r or s and negation of s just i applied the theorem i just talked that is distributive law s and r or f this is always false like i already talked about you that uh, whatever i take but here the symbol is and so if any one of them gets false it will always result it into false so it is a condition of fallacy so and there is, this symbol is of victory so we have to choose a set which is larger so if false and in some the set which is larger is this one now coming to the question number three that is the statement negation of p if and only if negation of q is we just did a proof and that was this proof yes and in this proof the resultant was that is neg the negation of p if and only if q comes out to be p if and only if negation of q i will take it the other, other way around we can write p if and only if negation of q as negation of p if and only if q and with two negations it will become positive so the uh, answer will be first that is p if and only if q so here we go to the question number four that is the negation of the statement if i become a teacher then i will open a school and it is a very simple question see if i choose first of all if and then simply says this is a kind of p implies q kind of statement and the statements are p as i become a teacher and q as i will open a school so the negation of p implies q will be as follows as we know p implies q can also be written as negation of p or q so applying negation which goes in that and changes the symbol and we get p and negation of q and here we see here we see that it is i will become teacher and i will not open a school which is i will become a teacher that is p i will become a teacher and i will not open a school for note we have negation and q i will open a school so the answer is this first and here we go for the question number fifth that is suman is brilliant is a p statement suman is rich is a q statement and suman is honest is an r statement negation of suman is brilliant and dishonest if and only if suman is rich can be expressed as and we have some options so suman is brilliant can be written as p right and dishonest for dishonest i will take negation of r right and for connecting it as and i'll take like this take it like this right if and only if i'll apply this symbol if and only if suman is rich suman is rich is q fine and we have to apply negation of it we can also write it the other way around q if and only if p and negation of r i apply brackets so that it can appear more clear and we can clearly see the option which matches this is this so mathematical reasoning is an easy topic if you do it clearly you'll be in a true truly 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 a good position so thank you and have a nice day